Hi everyone, Aldebar here. This is going to be a run of Proof is in the Poison on Reaper 1. I did a previous run on Elite. It seemed a little bit too easy, so here we go. Reaper 1. This quest is notorious for destroying new players. And mainly the reason is that people come unprepared. What you saw just over there was me casting a shield. That is the number one thing you need to know, and as long as you've got that going for you, you should be okay. The two main spells that are cast here are, sh are, are Magic the Missile and uh, Acid Arrow. Acid Arrow is a top, as it hits you over time. If you take just your regular guild buffs, I'm not talking about the old 30, uh, 30 resistant guild buffs, the ones that they have on any ship, you should be fine as long as you can cast shield. You can either do this with a wand, you can buy it at the marketplace, or get yourself a shield clicky. I have a pair of gloves I believe I got from Corthus that have shield on them. I think it comes from Necromancer's door. Anyways, this area over here is a bridge that has a switch that opens this door right next to you. You have to go under it. Um, but first I clear the area by going around. I don't cross the bridge itself because it will set off the traps. I mean, not to be standing with the traps set off. Sorry. Once you pull the switch to open this door, there'll be blade traps on the bottom floor, and there'll be big flame traps on this top bridge. The flame traps on this top bridge will go all the way down, hit you also there. So, it's very, be very careful. I'm just waiting at the end of the bridge, waiting for everything to come towards me one by one and clear up through. This trap box only deals with the traps, the fire traps on the bridge. You can either walk down or you can jump down. The trap box is here right in the middle of the floor. This does blade traps. If you don't have a trap or you'll have to keep on going around. You stick to the side of this room, don't stand in the middle. And also at the top floor, go around the edge like I showed. Go on the left side. Don't go across the bridge. You'll get hit with the blasted. You'll get blasted with the fire traps. As you, as you can tell by now, you can see I'm breaking all the boxes. This this quest has a crazy amount of breakables. And I wouldn't recommend it doing it for just the XP. Completionist of me won't let me do it without breaking all the boxes, so I apologize in advance. So notice that I'm trying to hurry. And that is because I only have a certain amount of shield clickies. And as long as I've got my shield up, I'm immune to magic missile, who is the key of this quest. So that's why you see me hurrying from one encounter to the other without stopping. Because I'm kind of on a timer. There's only one shrine in this quest, and you need to use it sparingly. I'd like to point out that this quest you could probably find it on YouTube, done by many different people, and every time you see it, the run will look different. And you should gauge what it will look like when you do it, based on what level your character is. Meaning, if you're a character who's done a whole bunch of TR and you've got lots of good gear and past lives, it will go much faster than if you're a new first tier, first lifer, and you don't have a lot of gear. So, based on what your character actually is, you should look for a video who looks shows you will give you a feel of what you're actually gonna be up against and how hard it will be for you. This quest is kind of notorious because many new players don't have a lot of adventure packs and around level four is when they run out of quests. This quest is one that they see oh level four I'll just go pick it up and it says it's an extreme challenge and it's way more than just an extreme challenge. It, you, it wipes the floor with you. But then again if you know what you need to do you don't get lost in this quest, it's not too hard. As long as you've got shield and some guild buffs, you should be fine. 
Most of my items, by the way, right now are kind of trash items that I got, random gen loot. So I'm not really with some very, very, very powerful gear. There's a few items, but mainly it's just regular stuff. Also, I don't have that many past lives. So somebody with more Reaper points than past lives can do much better out here than me. Anyways, you are about to end, finish the first, the entrance start, the part. You don't go back to this part anymore. But from here on, there'll be a main hallway that we're going to visit a few times. Yeah, I'm just bringing up a summon monster, just to take a bit of the aggro when I go into the main hallway. This main hallway has lots of chutes to go off to the left and the right. I'm just clearing some of the dead ends to get extra breakables. If you look on the map, you can see it. It's like a vein running down. from north to south, or the way I would call it would be from top to bottom, so as long as you can recognize it on the map and get back to it, you should be fine. The quarter staff I'm using here is Vorpal and has Icy Burst from the Resia Festival. Also I have a quarter staff that I use for oozes and one quarter staff that I have for Reapers. It's basically Ghost Touch and uh, Incorporeal Bane that I've added by crafting. Anyway, this is the main the main hallway. If I'll go right to the end of this hallway, there's a locked gate. Passing the locked gate will bring you right to the end of the fight. You're going to have to go now in a whole bunch of big circles to get keys and pull levers just so you can get a key that will open that gate. So we're going to visit this hallway. After going through a bunch of circles, we'll come back to here. Right here is the door that you need to get to at the end. This door is locked from the other side. Also to any veteran players who are wondering why I'm not healing that good with with this monk character, that's because I didn't have my shortcut set up properly, so I'm sorry if it gives you <laughs> anxiety. Here I'm using something called a silver flame healing potion. I've got this from my from last TR. And what it does is it gives you heals you for 250 base healing damage with a penalty to minus 10 to all of your stats except for constitution but it also gives you a debuff to your speed of 50% so when I want to fill up my, ha my HP pretty fast it's an easy way to do this now just for a point out I don't really need to use this I could just have a hireling in here but the hirelings die extremely fast in this quest they're unreliable there's a lot of acid pits that they just stand in and also they get blasted by the magic missile and the, the dot that comes from the acid arrow so they're kind of useless if you try to take them with you they're constantly healing themselves and running out of spell points really fast so if you do bring a hireling just to fill yourself up you would park him someplace like next to the, the entrance and once you pretty low you'd go summon him to you get him to heal you back up and continue going from there anyway we just passed that switch opens a gate on this side we cross the hallway to a gate that's opened on the other side. Okay, we're going to leave this side passageway. I'm going to cross the hallway now. Okay, now we pull the switch, I'm going to go back into the central hallway. Now I'm going to start going down these passageways. Well, little by little, we're going to go down these passageways, go get keys, clean up, 
come back and go through another door or something and rinse and repeat. That's basically the rest of the quest, is going down these long hallways. Eventually we'll come back to this main hallway and from here we'll have to go to the fight the main boss. Just here I'm just meditating to speed up my key region. Uh, to speed up my key. The most important thing about this quest again, I keep on saying it, is make sure that you have, constantly have shield, or night shield if you got it, so you don't take damage from magic missiles. It felt like a good place to stop again and refill all of my HP, so that's what's going on now. If you want to get Silver Flame Healing Potions, you'll need to have 400 Silver Flame Favor. This is pretty hard to get if you don't have Adventure Packs, if you don't have enough Adventure Packs. And it's also kind of hard to get at a very low level. So for the low levels, I always make sure I have some with me when I TR. And then after a few levels, I have enough favor already and I can buy new ones. Also because of the debuff, I keep on getting put out of my air stance. And I have to remember to stand back into it as soon as the debuff is off. Now there's a recurring thing that happens with these hallways. Once you do an objective at the end of the hallway, like pull a switch or pick up a key or something, these acid traps go up. You can't disable them, they're permanent. Basically all you should do is just stick to the right wall. You can even time them, but I've got evasion so I'm just going to run through them. But sticking to the right, you should be fine. Right behind this door are a bunch of oozes. Also, there's a catwalk with a bunch of quickfoot standing on it who blast you with spells. So, just stand back, first take care of the oozes, and then walk into the room. There's no reason to do this by standing at the door. It'll just take a lot of damage, just unnecessary. This quest particularly this room had a few changes done to it. It used to be that right to the left there was a small pipe you could jump on, bypass this room. And they changed it to a big huge pipe you can't jump over. 
that would force me to jump on top of the pipes to get across this room. And I'll show you the easiest way to do it. To do it. Jumping up on these little ledges, you can get around the perimeter of the room. If you can't get up on the ledges, there's still a little bit on the edge that you can stand on. Of course, if you got protection from energy, you probably just can run right through it. You don't have to think about it twice. As long as you don't stand in it. Also, that's what I mentioned that kills your hireling, so if you do bring a hireling with you, make sure you park him before. If not, he'll just, he'll just stand in it and die. I'd like to point out that what I'm playing right now is a new build that I'm working on. Hopefully, when I'm done with it, when I hit level cap, maybe I'll do an epic TR just to get a lesser reincarnation out of it so I can optimize everything like skill points and stuff and make sure that I really got it right. Once I do, hopefully then, I'll post the build. So, if you're liking what you're seeing, please leave me a like, I'd appreciate it. This door is locked from the other side. really bad time to be chained in place. It reminds me I should probably get my Harper pin out of the TR cache. Here we're coming up on the, on the shrine. This is the only shrine in this quest, so use it sparingly. Don't rush the shrine. There's no, there's no other shrine. So. If you're doing this on normal, you can try once the timer goes down. But if it's on hard or elite, that's it, you're done. So be very careful not to use it. If you got some extra time in your buffs or you can, you know, you've got a few more charges of your clickies, so then you should probably clear out a little bit more before you come back and use it. I was deciding if I should buff now or should rest now. At the end, I decided I should probably just rebuff, continue, and save the shrine for later. If you're doing this for the first time and you're confused about where you're going, probably just look at your map and see where the darkened areas are and try to go there. Most of this quest doesn't like overlap or something. It's basically flat and laid out, so the map is very useful. said before, just stick to the right when you get these acid traps. Here I decide to continue down the, this hallway a bit more before I come back to shrine. You gain entry through the locked door. This room has a switch or a lever that you need to pull. It's actually a valve, whatever. You have to get up on top of these pipes. You're meant to follow this pipe around. But I'm just going to jump directly up and pull it. I 
Also, there's some breakables in this room. I was hoping I could just get away with hitting them by using a ranged weapon, but I saw this one was blocked. trying to run back to the shrine so if I die I can resurrect myself. I don't have dagger or anything to resurrect myself so if I die it's I'm all it's all done so I'm trying to be careful. Anyways here I'm gonna go back and shrine. Top myself up with a silver flame healing potion before. Also, for some reason, I don't know why these shrines are like sunk into the ground. Whatever. I feel like a character after TR running to the bank for the first time. First time I played this quest, I was a gimpy character. There's no chance of beating this quest. Here I realized that I went to the wrong, the wrong side. The switch spawns in a random location in this room. As so if you're trying to hit these platforms, if you jump and look down, it'll be easier to land on your queue. Anyways, I was saying, first time I did this, I was a gimpy character, and I died many times. If I'm not mistaken, I was doing it on normal, and I got destroyed. I keep on leaving the quest, coming back in, resummoning my hireling, and trying again. It took me forever. PTSD from this thing, so... Finally be able to come back and soul it and Reaper 1 is kind of a personal victory for me. Can't stress again enough the importance of getting a shield. I have a shield clicky, it was a ring with five chargers that I got from my guild Yesho many years ago. As soon as I did, I banned it to my character so it wouldn't take permanent damage. I've been using it ever since, so special shout out and thank you to him. Also, I've mentioned in my machine build video. A consistent way to do this at higher levels is to get yourself a night shield clicking from a cloak that you can buy from Maybar. From the Maybar event.
way, this liver is going to access, give us access to the room with the key that we did this whole big circle for. There we go. This is the silver key we needed. This also means if you're not doing this on Reaper and you die in this quest, you can always re-enter. Once you've got that key and you open up the gate, you can just go straight to the end. You don't have to do this big circle around. Anyways, here we are back in this hallway. On the map it's down. And this is the door. Here I'm going to rebuff again so I don't run out of buffs right in the middle of the end of the fight. There's a few like smaller inter interactions you have to go through, encounters you have to go through before you get to the main boss. So. Again I'm going to do a summon monster just to take some of the aggro off. Leader of the Quickfoot approaches. He will be a fair foe in his arms. You dealt a mighty blow to the Quickfoot. Without their leader, they will be less organized and easier to. You can see the bug over here that if monsters get aggro on a summon monster and the summon monster dies, it takes them a few seconds before they reset their aggro. So they just stand in place. Also, if you want to know where you get that summon monster for, I made a video called Reesey Ice Gems. Go check it out if you want. There's a small side room over here that's locked, that contains a chest. You'll have to have knock or open lock if you want to get into it. And you'll see here I'm taking it very carefully when I pick up the chest and when I walk into the room. If you're wondering why, so wait until after the credits at the end of the video, I add a little clip where I show something that, well, you have to see it to believe it. Anyways. Right over here was uneventful, but stay tuned to the end if you want to see what happened. It was a previous run, as I mentioned before, that I did on a Heroic Elite. Yeah, I'm going to just refill my HP before I head towards the end. I'm using up some of my candy cane. It's not really effective, but I've got t some time that I have to burn before my debuff goes off. Anyways, here we go. The last part coming up over here can be a bit tricky with the amount of monsters that spawn. I mean, that are spawned in and can all come after you. So, my recommendation is to drag them out so they come at you one at one. I mean, you're all going to come running at the same time, but if you run back in the hallway, since they have to navigate around the hallway, they'll, they'll come at different times, as you'll see right now.
basically you can see that they come one at a time, so the drow I don't have to worry about a whole bunch of them ganging up on me. He will not allow you to reach the wall's chamber. Oran Zatlo is dead. The coordination of Thual's defenders is crippled. Coming up over here is the final room with the boss. Now he has this big AOE that he does, and since the final boss room is small, it's kind of hard to avoid the AOE. It means you don't really have where to stand. So I recommend dragging him out of his room up into the up the stairs and into the big hallway over there. So it's easier to avoid his AOE and he can he himself will get out of it and you can attack him, especially in melee. So you see me doing that here. Again, refresh my, refresh my shield. If you have free to play character, you get to see here a nice new monster, Drow Scorpion. Again, as soon as you pull, they all come, but they come one at a time, so you can manage them. Also, he has like a mini boss. You don't want to have to fight both the mini boss and the main boss at the same time. Here's where I like to fight him. We got plenty of space over here. I'm not risking anything. You there you go. Who are all masterpieces? The sadistic alchemist. Storm Reach's water supply is safe for now. Anyway, that's proof in the proof is in the poison. This is a pretty notorious quest. You might not find groups for it, and if you're planning on soloing it for the first time, at least you'll know to be prepared, so. Get shield. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this content. And if you wanted to see what I mentioned before, so stick around now, but after the credits you'll see. Just, uh, just, to re just a reminder, I was doing a run of epic, I was doing a run of Heroic Elite. I got to the room with the chest, and this is what happened. I unlocked, opened the door. Ta-da! Yep, 
if you can recreate this, good luck. Luckily, I was doing this on uh, Elite and not in Reaper. That means I can re-enter the quest, so... That's basically what I did. Jumped back out. And ran back to the quest as fast as I could. Yeah, yeah, so if you get any idea how this happened, or maybe if you can recreate it, you can post a bug, but I have no clue. Luckily, I could get back in. Anyways, take care. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.